Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello, this is Corey Muru, and I'm back with Lost Judgment Chapter 8. Just got off from work, and I'm ready to uh, cover the truth. Let's see what we got. La, 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 la. Let's go into my new layout right here. Yep, here we go. You can see my face, John Cena. Okay. All right. Uh, one last thing before I start, I need to check my chat room right here. Do, 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 my chat room. Where's my chat room? Do, 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 since it was killed. <sighs> so we're gonna uncover the truth. That's gonna be even harder than before. Excuse me. Yo Gabs, what's up? You here to join me in some lost judgment? School teacher Yokosawa is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Damn. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity oh, that boss fight was hard. other secrets, and to unearth them. Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Damn, I can't believe she died. All right. Chapter eight, Phantom of Jujincho. With the cat on the side. Let's see. Yeah. That's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Oh, yes, you're in between? Oh, dang, I'm sorry. The cops are on their way. Yeah, this, this is kind of a spoiler. <laughs> you lied when you said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now. Can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? Yes, sir. I think he's right. Oh, I can't believe she died, man. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Hmm. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kawanda the Handyman. Where that leads is that Soma's gang was after Kawanda. That's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kuwana. Yeah. Except Kuwana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kita Kanta. Kita Kanta. Soma gave us that. I see who he is. Kind of uncover the truth. I don't have much time until the police arrive. I have to be as thorough as I can right now. Oh, our eyes are closed. Oh, right in the back There's of that neck. Wound here. What do you think, Kato-san? Sure is tiny. I think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle. An ice pick, most likely. 
Soma was holding one up to her. Nice pick to the neck of the neck will be fatal. Is that how she died? If so, I only hope that she didn't suffer long. Damn, poor Sawa. I came into the room. So, clues to the truth. What's her blood at? Hey, you're suspicious. Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. A trail of blood. Probably hers. How far does it go? <clears throat> so, since his blood managed to reach this far, hmm. Full Power Academy yearbook. Nagmi-san, isn't that yearbook from when Sawa-sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Yeah. So, Gabs, I'm trying to Yui, get through this game Kawaii as much as now? possible. Uh, um, yeah, you're but hopefully right. Sunday I'll probably do something for Sakura Wars that there's so much blood before the uh, 25th anniversary on Maybe Monday. She's trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Frown on the mess of the murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. Now think. What do I do with this yearbook? Mm, I don't know. I want to take the yearbook with me, but... And they will convince me. Oh, shit. It could be clues. But if I have fingerprints on here, let's see what happens to do this. Tampering with a murder scene is a bad idea. I know. If you pass on this now, you're not going to get another chance. Don't you want to know what's in there? I mean. I think what I do is take it. Fuck it. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Of course not. But fuck legal this time. Damn. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikushiba's murder. We're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Point. It's better off with us then. I feel like that's what Sawa since I wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. The, the, I have to play the thief? Play? <laughs> Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamarocho? Yeah. You gotta bring that up. <laughs> Fine. Why are you gonna bring that up? <laughs> I swear they're like they're like freaking Sonic Tails and Knuckles in this game. I don't have much time until the police arrive. I have to be as thorough as I can right now. Wait, how were they able to get in? I told her not to open the door until the police came. I'm sure that's exactly what she did. All right, so hey, someone cut the door chain. Looks like they used a bolt cutter. Oh shit. They came ready. They had tools and forced their way in. They didn't even care who saw them. Can't imagine how Sawa Sensei must have been uh, watching capitalists as they pried the, her door open. All right, investigation complete. All right, Kaito-san. All right, let me stop. Let's stop looking at it, man. Let's get out of here. So, shot according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs and comrades are known as RK. Yeah? Well, Greg, case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and checking security footage in the surrounding area. 
We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. We'll look into Arcade 2, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective. Yeah, yeah whatever. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. The body will be taken in for an autopsy. Does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death, a single stab from behind, the neighbor the neck, a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Hmm, three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Someone from Arcade tried to get rid of me too. These guys will <clears throat> hesitate to kill somebody. I'd kill someone just to shut them up. But why would they go this far? What do they want from Kawana? Nave-san, the police need to get a warrant for someone. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. He's the damn mug shot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man. Pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kawana fella, too. He's lived in a jean show forever. Why were Kamrocha thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Saw oh, since they were Gabs, yeah, were you able to get your, uh. I'm looking for those same answers. Your, uh, 30th myself. anniversary collector so box. You know jack shit about anything important. You can go on home. We'll just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe san? <clears throat> yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul mouth is fun. Not bad vibes. <sighs> what now? Nabe san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ohara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, bad. You saw the video of Ohara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sao Sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa Sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump a heart for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara is off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a meat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> there was even a hope we could close it. Every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. But they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. Mm. It's above our pay grade. We bury the case so deep, it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. The hell do you? Pull it, Sakurai. about the teacher. The police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa Sensei. Well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but please do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well, none of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please...
to get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Some bullshit. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. I should head over to the chairman's office, but it's going to be hard to talk about anything. Alright, let's go. Oh shit. Please don't side crosses. Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Nagami-san... Okay. Listen, you're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. Now let's go to the office. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Alright. Here we go. Let's go to the chairman's office. 100 yen. Enter. Yo. You called? Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. May have a seat if you would. In that detective's report, Saba sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Lucky son. I wish I could agree with that. But I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened. I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Yeah. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. I wonder if he's the fact, guy who uh, tried to commit suicide. He uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. It's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short.
of Shifukun being discovered dead. Meha-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. Mm. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Of course. Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? I don't even know, man. She had a whole future to look forward to. The poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. There you go, Yagami. You said You're it. A saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chen. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Alright, what's up here? I should go check out class 2 2 before I leave campus. Alright, let's go downstairs, check out on those kids, make sure there's no trouble, which I doubt. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Check out Nagami my kids. Son. What do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Nico Shiba Sensei's body. Now, Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. You, the angel of death, or something? No. Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha. Girl, it's not a good time to start bullying. <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiba Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Fuck off, you little twerp. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 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 Coda, we better do. What do you want, Coda? Oh, I thought she was about to slap her. Yagami-san. Well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But. If you learn more about Sawa Sensei, could you please keep us in the loop too? Oh please, bitch! What's with this goody two shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Yeah, she got problems. Like I said before, 
I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just draw me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! Mm-mm-mm. So, about Akane... She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. We got along great, chatted all the time, and all of a sudden, it just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but it turns out it was only one way. Now she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, Koda. For everything we did to you. This man apologizing! This man's apologizing. Finally. Finally growing up, huh? You just gotta get a kind of to grow up. <coughs> Right, let me go upstairs. We can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks. Now, Connie needs to apologize. All right. Let's leave the school. Up and down and all around. Da -da 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 -da. The floor one. Oh shit. Open the door. Cutscene. How about to use my skateboard? All right, where to next? I should head back to Yokohama 99, so we can hammer our auto strategy. All right, let's go to Yokohama 99. Yokohama 99. Put my skateboard. Put my skateboard. Yeah, boy. Stairs. Go off the sidewalk, and we're gonna go up, over, and gone. Yeehaw! Come on, boy. here we go. Ha! <laughs> I love doing that. Uh oh, wrong way. No, no. Yes. No. No! Where am I going? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Man. Flash kick. You're going for a swim, buddy. Yeah! Fatality. Ooh. All right, buddy. You know what? Come here. Yeah. 
Ow, fuck. Where you at, man? Ah! Get out of here. Give me your soul. Yeehaw, let's go. Is that a kitty? Oh. Hell yeah. I see we got a few hours to kill. Hold on. I wanna try something. Ah, oh, it's all the way oh sh I'm not going that far. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, that's hilarious! Here we go, alright. Yokohama 99, let's go. <laughs> oh shit! Alright. Hey, welcome back, Tom. Yeah, I didn't see that. Good to see you, Yagamishi. <laughs> How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa Sensei at an assembly. <laughs> he was pretty shaken up. Oh, man. Yeah. Can't even imagine. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Sugimono? We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Who you are, Goku? Are you ready? Uh, no, maybe in a bit. No, maybe in a bit. No problem. Whenever you're ready. So you better make it seem like we gotta go to a boss battle. So uh, let me see if I can hide real quick. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna get some some food. What? Just give me some. Oh, hold on. Do we have a CD? What's this? Oh, that's a cat shit. Oh yeah. What's what's faster than lightning? What's oh? It's not Virtual Fighter. I thought it was Virtual Fighter for a minute. I thought it was like Jackie's like Virtual Fighter 2 uh, remix. Alright, let's head to the nearest pocket cafe. I need to go to a. No, uh, that's, that's a pawn shop. It's the nearest popo. My skateboard. Oh yeah, let me get the sushi set. Let me get the turner. Let me get the toughness. Oh, okay. Let me get the salmon X. Get the zone. Let me get my sake. Let me get that Sega Takayaki. Healthy Vito. Sama Lagiri. Get that Odin. Alright. We're good. We're Gucci. Let's go. Let's get out of here.
Alright, now I'm ready. Alright, so good let's go. We've been waiting. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa nice, Sensei uh, received a, a nice call laptop. that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa Sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa Sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akatsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa Sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana? <clears throat> Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Ichincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. The truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsha. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists and address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuwana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukuma, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. All right. Go to Kiwana's house. To Kiwana's house. Yay, Kiwana! And I don't have my freaking. Oh my god, freaking Kaito. I want to use my skateboard, but you gotta follow me. Keep up, Kaito. Oh shit. Come on. Yo, what's up, Silver Kid? How you doing? Playing some Lost Judgment. I am currently on Chapter 8. Nope. Take that, kid. Rebox kick. Done with you. Alright, who's next? Luke? Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, come on, get closer. Ow, what the hell was that? Get him, Kaido. Dunk that fool. Man, he blinded the fuck out of me. Really? I'm trying to run the wall. Come on, come on. Got him. Take my high waters. <laughs> Alright, Kaito. We have no time. Let's go. I'm already hitting it. I'm alright, just uh I've been so focused on participating Banana Mania that I completely forgot lo about Lost Judgment. Man, I I I kinda feel the same too. Like I feel like Sega kinda promoted Banana Mania a little Is bit more than uh place? Lost Judgment. Yeah, I think so. Yes, it's kinda of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. But you know, they got different studios working on each game and stuff. And plus, like, cooking with I.I. pretty much helped out with the uh, promotion of uh, Banana Mania as well. Along with, like, the different Sega characters and uh, 
other characters are going to be in the game too. All right, so how we how we get in here? I was not paying attention. So we need to find a way to Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> huh? What is it? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. Particles. I thought everybody was going to space for a minute. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. Our case got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's. What is that, manga? He might not even be in Ichi Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection with Sawa Sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito san. I need clues to uncover Kawana's true identity. Hopefully, there's uh, something left here. All right. Uh, that Judgment Day presentation was amazing. It got me so hyped for the game. I hope they do something like that for Sonic 2022. They probably might do like another Sonic Direct, most likely. Suspicious. I'm good at magazine. What the? <laughs> I can't imagine the stink. You got any game consoles? Hmm. Hey, leftovers from a ramen cup. Would it have killed him to clean up a bit? I'm starting to think this place was a dump even before it got ransacked. <laughs> Suspicious. So what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. And you think a dusty ashtray is gonna get us Kuana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Am I wrong to press on this? Uh, press on with this? Uh, no. Anything suspicious is worth investigating. Then me right round, baby, right now. Okay. So I can't go further beyond this room, right? There's stuff on the wall. Hmm. What the? Yeah, I'm hyped for uh, Banana Mania. Uh, so, while I'm doing with Lost Judgment, I'm trying to see if I can finish this game, like, before at least Friday. So that I can start Dang. doing some more. I'm probably going to play uh, Soccer Wars for, like, this uh, 25th anniversary. Probably a Soccer Wars <laughs> game. I'm not sure which one, though. Is it? What the? Oh. Uh huh. 
Suspicious. Oh, what's this? What the? Is this a computer power cable? There's a mouse here, too. There was a laptop here. Arcade must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. <sighs> and Arcade's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. <laughs> Uh, I haven't played a Yakuza game yet, but I've been interested in the franchise. I bought both Like a Dragon and the Judgment Remaster, but I haven't played them yet because I still don't have a Series X. Oh yeah, they're, they're good. I'll I'll let you know that they're very narrative, but like you'll you'll come to love the uh, the action and the uh, stuff to do in the game. Like, it's a lot of stuff you can do in Yakuza hmm. and uh, Judgment as well. Like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> All right, I'm probably gonna start to think. Suspicious. What the? This is futon. Hmm. Suspicious. They made one hell of a mess in here. But they had no clue what they were doing. Looks like they just wanted to trash the place. Yep. Pretty much screams RK. Nothing more than a bunch of punks. Uh-huh. There's gotta be something. Oh, what's this? Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanis? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he's been vaping. Oh, that's right. He smokes e-cigarettes. An ashtray that's hardly been used. Regular cigarettes that aren't being smoked. That bug you or something? Plenty of folks smoke normal cigarettes and vape, too. True. But a detective can't find answers without going over every last detail first. Also, I'm really excited to play Banana Mania and Streets of Rage uh, for 30th Anniversary Edition. Oh, which for Suits Race Four? Which uh, which version did you get? What the? Hey, look at this lighter. What now? Whoa! A USB? A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Oh shit! Shoot, is it a jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwata was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? Thank God we found something. I've had it with this place. We should get out of here. Yep. Two minds take a like, Yagami Kun. like a meet and greet. Oh yeah? Think they're arcade? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kiwana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akatsu though. Sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay cool. Yeah, so I'm better watch mean. out. I don't mess these dudes up. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it, no 
We're not holding back either. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, to the yeah. Come on, dance with me. Woo. Go to sleep. Ooh, miss me, miss me. Let's go. Those music is really good. Oh god. Now, since we're talking about Susa Rage, this definitely gives me Susa Rage vibes. And he flew. Oh no. Ooh, that was beautiful. Rebox kick. Oh shit. He yeah, exacts. Rebox kick to the face again. But it's from the side though. I got the cringe limiting run uh, games version, but I will redeem myself by getting the anniversary edition, which basically had, uh, the Streets Rage 4 with the DLC. Where are Sol oh, nice. and I want to talk to them. You can't contact them. I swear. I need to play Streets Rage 4 with friends. Contact us. It's always been like that. Probably going to do a stream on that Figure one day. As much. Ooh, KO. Penny Loafer Kick. Most of the arcade crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to a gene show outside their turf to commit murder. That's true. <clears throat> Sounds like someone's funding them. There must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK is just following orders. And Sawa Sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. Oh. If we keep looking for Kuwana, we'll run into the one behind us all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kuana sans Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Those guys? Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kuana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Anytime we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. But we'd pay him with our daily special. This man and his wife are Kiwana's next door neighbors? Oh, I haven't heard from Kiwana since last night. Do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kiwana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kiwana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever in Yakuza. We better get over there too. Can't afford to fall behind our cake. Let's hurry. <clears throat> Thanks for everything. I'm sorry for Bob. I think I came from that bar. Oh, don't mention it. 
because I can't use my skateboard. No, that's not it. You suck, Kaito. Can't even use my damn skateboard. Now we gotta take a taxi. I have to spend my hard earned cash because Kaito wanna follow me and I can't use my skateboard. Ugh. Dark times, my friends. Hey, oh, laid out. Holy shit, man. Man, almost burnt me to death. I'm trying to do some more combat shit on me. Simon, this is it, Tom. This is the Baku on his relative runs. Anybody here? This place empty too? Never been it's definitely before. messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? <clears throat> He's smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kiwana and all. What's going on here? Where's the owner? Behind you. Hi. You've reached Siren? No! Kaito! Oh, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. Kaito! Have I told you what RK stands for yet? Kaito! It's red. The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me, why did you kill Sawa Sensei? Uh, I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all. You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that too. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Alright. Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Are you trying to be a Majima? You got nothing on Majima. I need to heal. Ooh, look at the graphics. Clean. Skills for a bit. All right, 
Let's go. Whoa, he tripped me. Take this, Soma. Or Sawasan. Okay. Then they got some circus music. What the? Shut your ass up. Rebox kick. Got him from Payless. Oh, this, this theme song is kind of creepy. I like it though. Ow. Ah, shit. You don't want to just keep EXing you, right? Three box kick. Come get up. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Oh, he's mad now. What the fuck? All right, since he got a weapon, I don't really know what to do now. Counter that shit. Come on. I'm bleeding? Shit. Oh no, he's mad. Damn it. Get down, son. Oh, shit. So what's your wish list for a Nintendo Direct tomorrow? Give me one second. Oh, I'll do. Hold on. Give me a second. This is it? We're not done yet? Oh, we're done. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to be very predictable. Scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. There's only Maybe one game stepping you over that I would like to see in the direct, and I hope they don't shadow drop it You're like another game. To stand, aren't you? Give it a second. <sighs> that kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. That's all I want to see. I'm trying to rush it. This is all I want to see. The House of the Dead remake. Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you. But I'll probably be at work, so I won't be. I probably won't be able to do like a reaction video. So I know my friends are. Whoever that is has terrible timing. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Sam procrastinates. She's gonna. Do a live stream. So if you want to see like a reaction on the uh, Nintendo Direct, you should check them out. Yo, Polly B. Thank you for the raid, my dude. 
All I wanted with Guanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives. How's everyone's night? Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could What's you possibly that? want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Owner of the bar? <sighs> Sorry, but this will have to wait. Oh man, Kaito was bleeding hard too. Over your bar right away. My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry. Dang, they messed that man up. Uh, doing great, bro. Working on some music. Uh, made quite a bit of wrestling with our Tropical Resort remix. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. Dang, they messed my boy Kaito up. At least I can use my skateboard, at least. Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just did you act. I'm watching you. That's the one. I can't wait to show you sometime. Awesome. I'm oh, looking forward to it. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. Survive? I only showed up at your bar so I can ask you about Kawana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. See you soon. Alright. It better be. Head to the bar from Like a Dragon. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. This man was right behind me the whole time. Yeah, the House of the Dead remake. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I know what you mean. Uh, oh, we're already done with Chapter Eight already. Oh, okay. Um, Scarlet Dawn. That's what you're talking about. That they should port. I agree. They, they do need to port that. I think. I think the game needs a little bit more content before they port it to like other consoles. Kawana is pursued by RK. Crime ring running Kamrocho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman. Dang, I can't believe it's so good, I grew up. to a maze of dead ends. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead, one that expires too quick for comfort. Dang, they messed my boy Kaito up, man. The damn Soma. Ooh, Kamurocho. Chapter 9. The Weight of Guilt. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't... So, I think with, like, if they port Scarlet Dawn, they will need to, like, add more content. I like, only showed up at your bar uh, so I can ask you about like, one. I don't know, maybe have, like, previous House of the Dead games as unlockables, and we'll get that maybe, like, unlockable concepts, galleries, as you, like, play through the game. No, I won't be. Uh, and maybe, like, a like a side, like a side story where you have, like, play as, like, previous AMS agents or something. You know, like, House of the Dead 4 special. Alright, Survive is in the, uh, Entertainment District by the river. I have to hurry. I gotta hurry? With my handy dandy. Give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute. Boop! My handy dandy skateboard. Let's go! Yeah, boy! Make the left turn to Albuquerque. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, you guys didn't see that. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. You little punk. 
pick that Hino. He don't know. Nope. Yeah, I was I was on earlier today. Then I went to work and then uh, play this again. I'm trying to finish this game as fast as possible so I can work on my other stuff. I'm probably gonna stream a Soccer Wars game on Sunday or Monday. It depends. Oh no. I could do this. Oh, dang it. That messed me up. I tried to do a trick. Here we go. Oh, come on. Try this one. Crap. Ah, 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 ah. Almost there. Here we go. I'm currently streaming Sonic Colors Ultimate uh, when I'm not doing music streams. I got almost half the Red Star rings now. I, by now, I hope. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. So I finished Sonic Colors Ultimate on PC, and I'm probably gonna replay it on the uh, PS4. I got my Japanese copy right here I'll show you guys real quick before I resume I got my Japanese copy right here and let me go ahead and get you know Life in Sonic's World CD handy dandy book it has all their artwork from the Sonic channel from Sonic team actually and speaking of House of the Dead I got this I had this for a while here then uh, to do you can see that little art piece of like the DBR scientists and Sophie Richards and Rogan and G Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite the Sega collector. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and head to this bar. Uh oh. Is he gonna speak? Yeah, give me some. Glad oh. you could make it. He didn't say nothing. You're the owner of Siren? Who's this yeah. man? Oh, God. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. Yeah, it. If you have a, if you have an account on Amazon Japan, you can probably get it. They uh, they ship globally. So I hear you're a Kamurocho detective. Yeah, and you're a distant relative of Kawanis. Can I ask your name? Yeah, I f no need. I I, f I feel it this on the. Uh, the I feel that on the, uh, you know, the launch but to Kuanaku, copies of like, you, call me his uncle. you know, the U.S. and the Japanese versions. Everyone's got it for Sonic Colors family. Ultimate. Yeah, I feel that. And that's me. After all, that's why I got the Japanese thing. version. Based in Yokohama. Yeah, Seriu Clan. After I got out, I looked after the shop for twenty years, till today. You mean Siren, right? Wait, sir, you plan? Once you skip town. That sound familiar? <laughs> None of your concern. Sir, you. Fair enough. Clan. Yeah, guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So yeah, you two are like a dragon. I noticed you didn't mention Kawana being an alias. 
Done your homework, I see. Now that Kiyokawa secrets is out in the open, where should I lead the conversation next? Like when he was young. Oh, my, nah, you know, this one. His real name's Kitakata. At least that's what the Kamurocho thugs call him. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see, Wanakun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. Such as? A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Don't you mean a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the bush here. See, I figured you grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content private. So, if you could just... Hand that over. I don't now think I'm so. I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No. I still need to confirm you told the truth. Pitch it to Guanaco is backed into a corner here. Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, gotta say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kawana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. So Kawana's prepared to disappear at any time. In that case, I definitely can't hand this uh, over this data. If that's the case, unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to this. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kawana. Her name was Yokosawa, a young woman dedicated to her career. Damn. I had met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running into Kawana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamurocho just to get a Kuwana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa-sensei? Again, that's a negative. And this flash drive's my only concrete lead? <sighs> if it's so important to Kuwana, he should have come himself. Rather yeah, take this to Kimono. <sighs> don't be so hard on him. Alrighty, Polly. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kawana's ex Yakuza too? Nah, he was just your average civvy before all this. But circumstances as they were, he had no choice but to go underground. That's when he came to a gene show and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. But he took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking them up. There are good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. Good reasons? Care to give me one or two? <sighs> we'll understand oh, once you see quick. what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. That takes care of everything I have to say. Not sure it's such a good idea for me to just let you leave. Thinking about stopping me? Wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in a gene show. Oh, I was about to say something. Yep, and I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. Oh, I thought he was going to say something. I can learn more about Kawana with this flash device. Uh, what am I saying device? I can't read to you guys. I'm sorry. Flash drive. 
Sukumono should be able to check uh, for encryption. This is what happens when you're like working long hours and you come back to stream a game. This man doesn't say anything. He was in Yakuza Like a Dragon. You're not saying anything? You know what? Forget you too. Alright, uh, let's go over here. Let's go to Sukumono. And we go right here. We'll use my skateboard again. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I feel like whooping some ass. Is that a gold leisure? Give me your money. Ooh, high water kick. Oh, he's mad. Oh, fuck. I did not expect that. Somersault will kick. Ooh, got that big bucks. Okay. There's more? I'm coming for those. No, 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 no. I need money. Oh, God. I need to heal. All right, Miki, you gotta give me some money. Oh no, I need my Mito. Mito, 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 Mito. Shit, oh, what the fuck, ah! Go, buddy. What? No, no. All right, man. All right, give me your money. Really, guys? Yoink. All right. Now we resume to the story. I think I get some money. Let's go, Let's go baby. Oh shit. No. You messed up my groove. How's everyone's night so far? over here. No, I'm going the wrong way. Yagami. <laughs> oh, great. It's Claw Guy. You were with the Yuma, right? I see you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You I couldn't trust an outsider. Oh, man. Boss fight? Posse? Wait, don't tell me you think I'm RK. They're not even close to me. What is this, a bigger club? Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong. Ah, oh, crap, Tesso.
spin the wheel. Yeah, I messed up my juice. Oh, shit. Don't block my shit. Get up, Yagami, get up. Switch it up. No! Ow! Shit! Alright, this QCE is kinda like... <laughs> okay. Oh, we got more squads? Shit. Damn. Shit. Get up, Jagami. Staying locked on on these goons. Damn it. Let's go to sleep. No, I'm not. No more. Mess with the wrong one. Shit, shit, shit. It's time to get drunk a little bit. I'm gonna show him something I learned from Shun D. Take that, Tesso. It's over for you. Combat shit, y'all. <laughs> Damn it. Indeed. Come on, man. Who paid you to jump me this time? <laughs> These Kamrucho douchebags show up, strutting around like they own our city. Then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? Right? Look, I can see why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. <laughs> You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much, I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene of that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is Arcade's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit. You serious? And why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after a local handyman, Kawana. You know him? This is me. Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad. I'm looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. So the more you get in our way, the slower this'll go. 
Gotcha. You understand then? How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Uh. So long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Really? A brother? A Just brother? Like that. Okay. Sure. <laughs> but I get to be Aniki, of course. You really think what this is ego. selling it? What you're missing here is the Leomong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Leomong's taking their head. Same rule for all the ladies here in Ijincho. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? Oh, All right, brother. This is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Of course. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her peace by torturing her to death. Heh. <laughs> Guess I got some pretty heavy hitters on my side now, huh? Alright. Oh, I'm a little tipsy. Oh god, oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, alright. Elevator's right there, y'all give me. I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? Look, I promise I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. <clears throat> so... Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy, too. <clears throat> yeah, while we were chasing Kawana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Yeah. Almost got me, too, to be honest. Dirty bastard. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? It's true. And right after, I got a call Who all from thinks Kawana's Soma's a dirty bastard? Guy, who wanted me to hand Raise your hands. the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kawana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Let's see. <clears throat> Kwana went to the Great Lakes to keep his video a secret. What are we about to see? Let's make it full screen. Oh, shoot. Cutscene time. Damn! What a drop kick! So did I. Come on, Mitsuru. Quit being a little bitch. I told you to take it in the face. Okay, let's do it over again, okay? Suzuki, make sure you're getting this. Oh my God! I'm gonna really fucking nail him this time. Ready when you are. Get your ass back! Mitsuru. What did I just say about being a bitch? You asked for it. I'm gonna have to punish ya. Punishment! No, no, punishment! Let's hear the punishment, punishment song, everybody! Punishment! Punishment! punishment. Get ready for... Mitsuru Construction! <laughs> Stop! You little shit, did you just kick me? Huh? Up now, Mitsuru. Mm. <laughs> Show us what you got. We want to see. We got all on camera. That's messed up. It's just the most pathetic side. <laughs> Oh shit, he's pissing himself! No! Ew, that's so nasty! Oh, look at this shit! Oh, 
Holy shit, that's messed up. These little shits are the worst. For real, man. One of them said something about Mitsuru Kusumoto stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa Sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. And it was on Kuwana-san's secret flash drive? Why would he have this? I don't know. But his uncle said it's our lead to Kuwana's real identity and motivation. Huh. Just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key players' faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Here we go. Hopefully we can find what we need in this video. Seemed likely considering it was hidden and sought after. Hey. First of all, we get this who This bigger guy is acting like the main bully. I've seen his face before. If I'm not mistaken, Shinya Kawai was the bully whose name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamrocha pretty recently too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Yep. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawhi had been murdered, they came here to Ijincho, hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. Suspicious. This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. Suzuki? There's another familiar face. Oh, so it all comes circling back to her. Oh, story I, getting juicy, guys. The Suzuki girl has a different name now. Yui Mamiya. Yui Mamiya. The victim in the Ahara harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa Sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. Yep. So we're looking at Yui Mamiya in high school. Mamiya-san, huh? What's she like underneath it all? Originally, word got around that Shinya Kawai was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. There were really about ten bullies involved at the time, and Yui Mamiya was one of them. Damn. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. They're living out their lives like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Uh-huh. Can't get too far with him. What the? What's this? This guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh. Uh, I don't think I've seen him. I don't know him either. Who is he? I think I remember him. I saw him at the crime scene where Mikoshiba's body was. He was with more Kurokawa grads. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. Yeah. But the real question is, why was Kawana the one with the video? Hmm. <laughs> Suspicious. What the? <clears throat> I feel bad for Mitsuru-kun. No one helped him, even with everything he was going through. Thirteen years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working at the Ministry of Health. 
She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own now. I don't know all the details, though. Hey, crazy theory, but what if this husband she left was actually Kuana-san? And maybe he recorded this to secretly check on his son? No, Kuana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Let's look for other possibilities. Alright, who else we can think of? Hey. Dave. <clears throat> September 17th, 13 years ago. It's past 4 p.m., so this would be after school. Oh. Wait, this is. Got something? I just cross referenced the date Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped. September 17th. Oh, shit. That can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. Hmm. So this video captures cru uh, crucial incidents of bullying that drove uh, Mitsuru Kusumoto to attempt suicide. Uh-huh. All right, we're good. That was crazy, man. The video may have provided some interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. The link being the reason Kawana-san came to possess this, of course. Right. Kawana's either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kawana-san and Sawa-sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then, maybe Sawa-sensei recorded it 13 years ago, and then had Kawana-san look into it, as one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why's that? Because of what Siren's owner said to me. Okay. You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. He said we'll know Kuana's true identity once we watch the video. That hasn't been the case so far. Yeah. Uh, what identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? How old is he? You gotta be Assuming in his 30s. Assuming Kuana's in his early 40s. He would have been about 30, 13 years ago. Yeah. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura she brought back. The one that was in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. The way I you're think, talking, I think I you've already who, taken a peek. Uh, we tried we to commit have, suicide but in a coma. Unfortunately, we didn't find Kawana-san's face among the teachers. This is the page for Mitsuru Kusumoto's class. Both Sawa Sensei and Mami are there too. So the homeroom teacher was this guy. Apparently, he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times, yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and tell them not to overdo it. It's not Kawana. This is someone else. We checked the rest of the teachers too, but never spotted Kawana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. What's up, dude? Been thinking about playing this for a while. Yeah, this game's really good. Um, I'm, I'm a bit ahead of, uh, I think I'm on chapter 8 so far. Um, so if, uh, if you don't want to, like, any spoilers and stuff, you know, I mean, be, be my, my guest, but, like, you know, if you, if you want to join them for the ride, you know, also be my guest. So this, right now I'm trying to figure out who, uh, this other guy is. I forgot his name. Kawana. Yeah, Kawana. I'm trying to figure out who Kawana is. Sawa Sensei isn't smiling at all in this. Huh. She did mention she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. Hmm. No surprise there. Mitsuru kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. <laughs> Yui Suzuki, and really? classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Yeah, but I can't find Shinya Kawaii in here. 
Oh. Yeah, you're right. He's not in there. If I'm not mistaken, Kawai left the school once he started catching flack for being Mitsuru-kun's bully. At least, that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawai. Let's look at his yearbook a bit more. Does anything stick off strange? Oh shoot, here we go. Hey, suspicious. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. Mm. And afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. If he was dismissed... You figure something out? The homeroom teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah? What of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Let me search for the original teacher's name. There's a chance he won't be the same guy in the yearbook. Just give me a sec. Oh, it's gonna get juicy. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. You were right. It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. Kitakata? Huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So, Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. Oh. It's Kawana. Oh! That's him, all right. Yeah. He was the teacher. Not only that, Sawa-sensei was part of this class, which makes Kawana her homeroom teacher, too. This is the link we've been looking for. Bruh. I didn't know he was that old. Everything has clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yu Kitakata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? What could that have been? Kawana stopped teaching because of the student uh, of his attempt suicide. Uh, what was he after when he went underground? To get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kawana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. Huh. You think one of them was Kuwana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. RK might have learned of Kuwana's involvement while searching for Kawai. Maybe they came to a gene show so they could get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. Hold up. Individuals who were his acquaintances? Meaning more people besides Kuwana-san, right? Could that mean? You got it. If they knew Kawhi somehow, the evidence we've gathered so far should give us a clue. We already know this. Oh. The students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawai. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. What makes you say that? 
Well, Kiwana had this on a secret flash drive, right? But to anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, they'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yeah, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kiwana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawhi. <sighs> you think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawhi was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawhi was murdered. No body's been recovered yet, either. Okay, hang on. I'm barely keeping up with this. Yeah, it's a bunch of what-ifs stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who'd that be? Someone in the video. Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. If she was involved with Kawhi's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Injincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man, what the hell is that guy's deal? Mikoshiba and Sao-sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance, Kawana's most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see Yuimamiya tomorrow. You should accompany him, Sugiyoroshi. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear, with Kaito-san out of commission, I'm sure Yagami-shi could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Sukumokun. I'm cool with whatever. Thanks for lending him out, Tsukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, hey, don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. Alright, rest up on the couch. You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes? Oh, man, Kaito in the hospital. That shit's real talk. You saw it all, huh? Yeah. There I am, bleeding out. And suddenly I'm getting the third degree from Matsugane-san. Back when I was still just a rookie. Captain Hamura stares me down like, time to lose that pinky. And then, Higashi starts crying for me. Oh, if I'm gonna go, I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be rosier when the time comes for real. Glad you pulled through, man. That bastard Soma, though. Next time, he's fucked. We could have avenged Sawa-sensei if it weren't for that stupid ambush. Well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. Generous side. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa Sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kawan. Like a big baby the piece that ties pajamas. it all together. We just have to find him before RK does. Kuana, huh? He's on my shit list too, just so you know. Huh? Kuwana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. He piled around with me all because of that. I'm just a sucker of the agency, huh? I wouldn't say that. Still, the moment an ass for me to kick turns up, this is the shape I'm in. Just focus on getting better. Tsukuma will stop by later, too. What? Tsukiyura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us from Ijincho and everything.
All right. Let me go ahead and back. Oh, I'm still drunk? Let me get my... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. So keep it straight. Oh, oh, God. Oh, wrong way. Is the popo in here? Oh, where? Here. Oh, yeah. Let me get the pito. Alright, now let's head to our destination. So we have to see Mamiya? I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, let's go. Yep, let's go. All right, let's do this. If your theory is accurate, then Mamiya was involved in both Kawai and Mikoshiba's murders. And even if that's off, we can at least learn more about Kawana-san as a teacher. Time to investigate. Yes? Hi, it's Yagami. I dropped by with Genda Law the other day. Not again. I have just a few more questions I'd like to ask you. You told me the last visit would be your only one. Seriously, why do you keep showing up here uninvited? Please, just leave me alone. <clears throat> I suppose I should mention, I'm here today as a detective, not a lawyer. So what? And my partner here is Sugiura. He's with an agency called Yokohama 99. Never heard of him. He's based in Ijinsho. He's working a case. Maybe you saw it on the news? The murder of Serio High teacher Yoko Sawa, killed in her own apartment. You and Sawa-san were classmates in high school, is that correct? After leaving Kurokawa 13 years ago, Sawa-san moved to Ijinsho to teach. Uh, are you still there? What is it you want? I haven't seen Yoko-chan since graduation. Now go. You're barking up the wrong tree. Maybe you'll remember Kitakata-sensei then. I ran into him at Sawa-sensei's home right before the murder. He was your homeroom teacher at Kurokawa. 
but resigned after the Mitsuo Kusamoto incident. Just like you, he appears to be connected to Sawasan. So why am I being singled out? Can't you just ask someone else? Believe me, it's a long list. But right now, we're here to find out how Sawasan got mixed up in all this. You two weren't necessarily on bad terms, were you? If I had to say, we weren't on the best terms either. Ah, oh, how convenient. Because that's a perspective I'd like to hear more about as well. My husband will be home soon. Can you keep it quick? I'll give him my best shot. Exactly. Thanks for hearing us out. Hold on just a moment. Huh. I wonder what's going on. You don't think she bolted, do you? Hmm. <clears throat> wouldn't count on it. Should we ring again? She's taking a sweet time in there. Is he trying to figure out an escape plan or something? Sorry to keep you waiting. I just wanted to clean up a little. She hiding something. Is your son home today? <laughs> He's at English school right now. I have to pick him up soon. Doesn't your husband help with any of that? You said he'd be home soon, right? Excuse me, but you are in no place to make those kinds of comments. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. Well, what is it you want to ask? Where do I start? Uh, I said shark. Where do I start? I have a ton of questions for her. But if I piss her off, we might get booted out of here with nothing to show for it. Do you remember Mitsuru Kusumoto? Yes, we were classmates in high school. He jumped off the school's roof after his classmate Shinya Kawai bullied him. I hear he's still in a coma, 13 years later. Weren't you going to ask me about Yoko-chan? I was, but there seemed to be an awful lot of Kurokawa graduates surrounding this case. And strangely enough, they were all in your class. He took out the sensei being the prime example, as well as a guy named Akaike-san. Remember him? Well, you're right. We were in the same class. And would you say you're all familiar with Mitsuru Kusumoto's situation? Yes, but... That's not a warm memory for any of us. I understand. I'm sure it's not. Alright. We're off to a decent start. I should keep rolling and carefully... Build out to a point, all right. Let's see. Have you been in contact with Kitakata Sensei lately? I haven't. He's someone I'd rather not have in my life. <clears throat> Are you surprised that he stayed in Ijincho after resigning from the school? No, not really. How about the fact that now he's using an alias? I had no clue. But again, he has nothing to do with me. Then it seems to face her. Maybe I should take it a step further. Alright. The groping was orchestrated, right? Excuse you? When Akihiro Ihara grabbed you on the train, you were in on that, weren't you? The whole thing was a conspiracy, staged to play out as it did. You need to leave. <laughs> right now. Dude, what gives? No one would even think to consider a predator and his victim could be accomplices. It's unheard of. But if it was to establish a murder alibi, that's another story, considering how much lighter the sentence is. Ooh. That way, Ihara got away with killing Mikoshiba, paying only a fraction of the price. But as luck would have it, proving it is going to require you to cooperate with us now. If you don't get up this second, I am calling the police! I mean it! It took me quite a long time to figure out how you and Ahara were connected. But once I learned Yokosawa attended Kurakawa, it all started falling into place. She was in your homeroom class. She looked after Toshiro Ahara. She was the link to everyone. <sighs> but just before I could ask her about any of this, she was murdered by Kamurocho Gang. That same gang has been hunting your old teacher, 
Hitakata Sensei. What is it you want from me? Lamia san, do you have any idea where Kitakata Sensei could be? He may be Kawana the Handyman, but he hasn't answered his work line since Sawasan's murder. I don't know. He was my teacher a decade ago. I barely remember his face. Well, I'm willing to wager Kitakata Sensei still remembers yours. I'll prove it right now. Oh, God. There's no way Yuki Kata, alias. Kawana had forgotten you, Mayama's face. The, pr the proof is that is the proof that is. Oh shit! I don't know which one. This. I'm sure you know what this is, Mamiya-san. A Kurokawa yearbook? Why do you have one? We borrowed it from the scene of Sawa-sensei's murder. You borrowed it? I highly doubt that's legal. Besides, what does this have to do with Kitakata-sensei? Ha! Ah. Do you not see it? No one sees it, Yagami-san. Now, would you mind showing her the right thing? All right, all right, all right, chill. See for yourself. No. This was recorded at Kurokawa Academy 13 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I should have picked up bully video. Yeah, nostalgic yet? All right, now we're getting somewhere. It was well hidden. Your Kitakata sensei had it on a USB drive. He really didn't want this thing being seen. The most interesting part is the date. It's the very same day Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped off the school roof. And hanging out in the back, we see you, <clears throat> laughing and cheering right along with the other bullies. Guess it's safe to say it's a good thing your family wasn't home. Wouldn't exactly want them seeing this, would we? Hmm. Has this video come up? Has Kitakata Sensei ever mentioned to you that he had it? It's by her lip. <laughs> Oh, she desperate. Please. Please delete it. Considering the angle, I get the feeling that this was recorded in secret. And based on your reaction, did you even know it existed? Uh. Uh. Oh, she going to lose You know what happened to Mitsuru-kun. He's been in a coma ever since what you did to him that day. But still, only one of you took the fall. Shinya Kawai took all the blame. Well, sort of, being that he got fired, Kitakata-sensei took heat, too. Still, you all just moved right along with your lives. You've even got happy little families. What? Are you expecting someone? Amiya-san? I knew what happened someday. What do you mean? Oh shit. We got trouble. What the fuck? <sighs> Looks like she wanted some company. Let's do it. Better fuck this place up. We got something for you guys. Care to play some toys? Damn, okay. That was your mistake for that one. Turiya! Oh, that's it? 
I got my Ultra Instinct too. Well, <laughs> this turned into a shit show. For real. <laughs> All right. Who are you guys? And would you look at that? Our old friend Akaike san showed up to play a part. Oh, man. This dude. So you are all working together. What should we do with them? They're the jerks who hurt Tsukumo-kun, right? Break every finger on their hand, it still won't make you even. Come on, they may have more on the way. I have an old haunt in mind we move this to. And Mamiya-san's coming with. Huh? That's right. Let's not cause a scene, okay? I'd hate for a finger to slip and post this video. It's getting juicy, guys. The story is about to get unfolded. Yagashi. Hey, you think this is your personal jail, Yagami? Oh, he got you. Think he you can keep bringing captives here. Well, it's I the figured. safest spot we know. Doesn't it feel good to be such a reliable friend? Yeah, Higashi, be cool. We won't be around long. Higashi. Be cool. You think time's the issue? This is about respect, man. <laughs> What's your call? We kicking him out? Oh, it's MCU. Oh, quick bit of news, Higashi san. Kaito san got shanked in Yokohama. What? What the fuck? Kaito Aniki? By who? You'll know once we're done explaining. Let me introduce you to Mamiya-san first. She called up her friends to come after us just a little bit ago. Yeah, and I'd do it again. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> what happened to Aniki? You better have paid him back already, Yagami. Fuck those RK assholes. And how could Aniki have let him get to him like that? Now that Higashi sounds up to speed, should we get to it? I imagine Mamiya san doesn't want to drag this out. What do you intend to do with me? First, you'll tell us everything you know. We'll decide how to deal with you afterward. <sighs> Then let's get this over with. What do you want to know? Let's start with the video. Any thoughts you'd care to share? I found it on a flash drive in Kitakata Sensei's room. Or should I say, Kawana's. I take it that means he's the one who recorded it. Yes. That means Kawana already knew back then the rest of you were bullies too? Yes. If that's the case, then why was Shinya Kawai the only student thrown under the bus for it? Kawana-san didn't show that tape to anyone else? We had no idea we were even being taped. We didn't find out about the video, or the reason he sat on it so long until way after graduating. Why exactly did he sit on it for so long? Kitakata-sensei said he kept it so... so he could teach us for the rest of our lives. What? If that video came out at the time of the incident, I'm sure life would have been hard for us then. After all, Kawaii was exposed online, and that would mean millions of yen in compensation for damages. Yeah, but you guys could have wound up in the same boat. No. I mostly would have come across as dumb kids he roped into helping him. We might have caught some flack, but people would chalk it up to kids and their cliques and move on. But that's only how I would have gone if it had come out while we were still teenagers. You're saying circumstances are different now? I have a child now. A husband, an upscale apartment. If the world sees that tape now, I'll lose it all. You sure I would. I think what happened to my son. Bullying never prospered. The son of a woman who drove a kid to attempt suicide. His life would be ruined. 
that recording is more than kids being cruel. Mitsuru jumped from the school roof that very night and is still in a coma today. I get it. You have that much more to lose now than when you were a kid. So this, with this video as Lee Ridge, Kitakata Sensei is continuing to teach his former pupils? Same for all my classmates. Kurokawa Academy is a prestigious school, after all. Most graduates go off to great universities and land high-paying jobs. One started his own company, others have families. And they're all in your position too, huh? If that video gets out, they lose everything. Exactly. Do you get it now? He waited for all of us to get what we wanted in life. Just so he could threaten to take it all away. And when that time came, he started contacting us. Every student you see in that video. When was the first time Kawana approached you? Five years ago. I was out on a walk with my son. When he came strolling up out of the blue. At first, I barely recognized him. His eyes were so hollow. Then without so much as a word, he took out his phone and played that video. He's a psychopath. Well, all you kids tormenting Mitsuru looked pretty psychopathic to me. Oh, and you're so perfect. An angel who never once acted out of line. Never lashed out at someone weaker than you, or sided with the group to shut someone out. Everyone does it! We were just lucky enough to have some creep tapers picking on some kid who couldn't take it. Why did this have to happen to me? I'd say it's because bad things happen to bad people. That's right, and karma's a bitch. You'll sling your barbs from a safe distance, but once you're on the other side of it, you curl up and play victim. You said it was five years ago that Kuwana showed you the video? Reminds me of something Shirosaki Sensei was looking into. What? There was this guy. I think his name was Shinya Kawai. Something about him getting snatched off the streets about five years back. <gasps> then it was you guys. You're the ones who abducted him in Kamrocho and murdered him. Oh, God. No, it wasn't us. We could never do something like that. Wasn't us, huh? So you're not denying he was murdered after all? Who was it then? All Sensei told us was to find Kawhi somewhere in Kamurocho, then bring him back with us no matter what it took. Did Kawana tell you what he wanted with him? He needs to be there when you all beg for forgiveness. Is all he said. And if we refused, he leaked the video. So we all went to see Kawhi, but he wanted nothing to do with Sensei. Considering he'd cost him everything, that came as no surprise. But doing nothing would cost the rest of you everything, too. Yes. So we had to force him into our van. After he put up a fight. Yeah, that lines up with what the local eyewitnesses said. So then what happened? Nobody's heard from the guy since. We were directed to bring him to a wharf in Yokohama. And that's where we begged for forgiveness. After that, he said we were free to go. All except Kawhi. So you left him there alone with Kawana? We had to. The day after, I got a message on my phone from Sensei. What did it say? Nothing. <clears throat> There was only a video. It was of all of us, pushing Kawhi into the van. Turns out he recorded what we did in the city. You can see all of our faces so clearly. How we covered Kawhi's mouth as he screamed for help. I... Even if you know all the backstory, the video is a clear-cut abduction. Mm. As I was watching it the first time, another message came in. This time, a picture. When I saw it, I just went cold. That's when I knew I would never be able to escape him. It was a picture of Kawhi. Dead. Oh. Ooh. Anyone who saw those messages would think we killed him after shoving him into the van. The same cutthroat. That's how he got his real leverage on his former students. 
Since then, we've been at his beck and call. No matter what he tells us to do, we wouldn't dare refuse him. He's giving you orders? That man! He forces us to help him. He makes us accomplices to murder. Who's that murder? Man? Every force to help want to kill people? In that case, then this case finally What the control. hell? Murder who exactly? Any bullies involved in suicides. That's who Sensei's got it in for. Anyone he could find across the country. He doesn't even care how old the case is. If a student commits suicide, and bullying is suspected as the cause, he'll turn up. As far as I know, counting Kawhi, I think... I think he's killed at least seven people. Seven? How's he doing this? Oh, shit. So his idea of justice is killing bullies? Across the entire country? He said that's the only way we can atone. Anyone who drives someone to suicide must always face justice. Not like that. Until society comes to terms with this, he says we'll keep getting our hands dirty. That way, we might be able to save the next few Mitsurus before it's too late for them. Not sure I should say this out loud, but I'm kind of rooting for this guy now. Mm, yeah. That's but not... So was the murder of Hiro Mikashiba part of that agenda? We know Mikoshiba drove Ahara-san to suicide four years prior. That has to be why Kawana let Ahara murder him, and how you found your role in establishing this alibi. Not just me. Grabbing Mikoshiba required a good number of people. All the people who pinned Ahara down, and even the ones who filmed it, they were working for Sensei. So that's how it went down. We had an unspoken agreement that we wouldn't directly take part in any killing. He just makes us his accomplices somehow. Like luring a target or digging a hole for a body. But the one thing we can't ever do is turn him down. If we do, he'll send his video of us abducting Kawhi to the police. And then Kawhi's body will turn up with our fingerprints all over his corpse. And we know that because... He's hidden Kawhi's corpse in a freezer somewhere. God. He's preserving one of his murder victims? So as long as he has that, you're wrapped around his finger. Sounds to me like Kiwanis had one thing on his mind for 13 years. Sitting on that video and becoming an Ijin Cho handyman was all in service of his real motive. Killing off bullies. He's dragged all his former students into this hell until the day it destroys every single one of you. Is today that day? It is that day. We'll see. I'm still curious about a few things, though, if you don't mind. What? There are these scumbags chasing down Kiwana called RK. What part did they play? Strangely enough, they never came up once during your confession. So tell me, why'd they come for Yokosawa? That I don't know for certain. But Sensei did reach out to Yokochon about six months ago over the phone. He was asking her about the suicide at Serio High. The suicide at Serio High? You must be talking about Toshiro Ehara. The lawsuit played out like no bullying took place, right? That the school wasn't responsible. But Yokochon was a teacher there, and Sensei was able to get the truth out of her. How did he do that? What did he say? From Yoko-chan's perspective, she and Sensei were both just teachers dealing with students attempting suicide. I think that's why she let her guard down and told them everything. After learning the truth, Sensei believed Mikoshiba needed to be held accountable. So if Sawa-sensei hadn't talked to him, Ahara wouldn't have gotten involved? And none of this would be happening in Ijincho? Possibly. No, this isn't right. Sawa sensei didn't know Kawana's identity or his objectives. She thought she was just talking through her problems with a sympathetic ex teacher. At the very least, she sure as hell didn't deserve to die for that. Exactly. It's not like we're the ones who did it. Uh oh, who's calling me? Who is it? Block number. Hello? Yo, 
Know who this is, Yagami? Uh-oh. Kuwana? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you're looking for me. Where are you? I'm willing to meet you now, if you come alone. But you have to let Mamiya go in exchange. What? All right. She's free as soon as I see you. Works for me. Then come on down to your office. I thought I'd let myself in. What? <laughs> Gotta say, this chair's pretty comfy. Pretty sure I locked up behind me when I left. Listen, I'll only meet you alone. No one else. And don't make me wait long, or I could change my mind. He told me to meet him alone. You can let Mamiya-san go once I confirm he's there. You gonna be all right by yourself? Well, he already knows Mamiya-san's with us. I'm guessing he was watching us from somewhere. And I can't afford to do anything that would piss him off enough to make him disappear. Uh, got it. Oh. We'll take care of this end of it. Shouldn't you move your ass? All right. That yeah, will do. What's there, Zach? What's in here? Maybe just one. Might want a damn blowfish. Maybe just one. Alright, let me dip. Sad. Super gun man. Am I still drunk? Oh god. You wanna fight? You wanna go? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Square up, square up, square up, square up. Oh shit. I'm fucking up. Where y'all going? Move, lady. I wanna fight these wounds. God damn it. Come on. I don't want to come to my office. Go to sleep. What the fuck is he doing? Yeah, I did have some fun. Some shit to race shit.
and stay down. All right, now we head to our destination. Hope you don't mind, I let myself in. Now, are you gonna hold up your end and release you, Imamiya? Come on. You and I can either try to make this work. Or neither of us is going to get what we want. So, you going to make the call or what? Hello? Yagami-san? I'm with Kawana. You can let Mamiya-san go. Got it. Will do. <clears throat> Sorry about all this, Yagami. Why don't you sit down? Maybe it's time you and I had a heart-to-heart. How's Kaito holding up? Kaito-san's recovering in the hospital. For now. Sawa-sensei is another story, though. I can hardly believe it. She was the last person I wanted to get mixed up in all this shit. If that's the case, why were you already waiting in her apartment? RK's top men were lying in wait over there to get their hands on you. So why was she the one lying on the ground? Answer me, Kawana. Was it because of you? Would you feel better if it was? How dare you? You're thinking that if you hadn't stuck your nose in her affairs, she might be at home grading her papers right now. You tell me. Is that what's eating away at you right now? Because if it is, you're mistaken. That guilt is mine alone to bear. It's my burden to carry. When I saw in the news that she had been murdered in cold blood, it felt like the whole world had stopped spinning to me. I would take it all back right now if I could. But unfortunately, to fix this, I'd need to turn the clock back further than you'd think. You mean back to when you were a school teacher? Yeah, basically. Back to when I still had a little faith in humanity. Seeing someone's life get cut short, you never really bounce back from it, do you? But I don't have to tell you that. I did my homework on you, Yagami. It seems you were a fairly accomplished lawyer. You even scored a murder acquittal. But we both know how that ended. The death of an innocent young woman. I'm sorry. You and I are the same. We both have scars. And they're the type of scars that never fully heal. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe you're right. But for Sawakun, it was 13 years ago. The very day before Mitsuru Kusamoto jumped. She stopped me in the hall so she could tell me about how serious the bullying really was. Up until that day, I just assumed it was boys being boys. Teasing. I figured it was harmless. That they'd get bored with it, and then they'd move on. I mean, come on. Kawaii had to have been twice the size of Mitsuru. It's not like I'd seen any fighting. So I warned him not to overdo it. And eventually he would take the hint. Well, according to what I was told, you smirked, actually. Yeah, I guess that's what I did. That was too late. Sawakun had to point it out. Sensei, how could you be so blind, she asked. Her eyes were this piercing mix of pity and scorn. According to what she told me, nearly half the class was bullying Mitsuru. She said she'd seen him at the station. She made it sound like he had half a mind to jump onto the tracks right then and there. I'm not so presumptuous anymore. But back then, I used to think my students were my biggest fans. 
I thought I'd won their hearts and minds. But the look on Sawakun's face that day made me see the truth. I couldn't just go on smiling like nothing happened. So I decided to do my homework. The next day, I put a hidden camera in the classroom after school. So that's how he got a bullying video. He has set up himself to record the room remotely. So you admit that you're the one who recorded that video? Yeah. You saw it, right? Talk about the ugly side of kids. Hard to watch, wasn't it? Unfortunately, by the time I picked up the camera and saw what it recorded, Mitsuru had made his jump. I missed him by a few crucial moments. What happened in that classroom was the final straw. Later on, all the bullies were asked what happened. Each and every one of them lied. Kawai started it. It wasn't our idea, they said. To anyone outside of it, all they'd seen was Kawai forcing Mitsuru oh, to do his bidding. So the people held culpable were Kawai and myself. The callous homeroom teacher who deliberately turned a blind eye. That was the day I began living my life with real purpose. So you couldn't forgive your students who got away with bullying. You went so far, you put aside your own life to make sure they atoned somehow. That's right. Mitsuru Kusumoto's still a vegetable. He's as good as dead. Mm. But I don't care. We have no right to forget about him. You say that, even though Sawa-sensei ended up paying for it. <laughs> I'll ask you again. Why were you at her apartment the other day? Don't dodge the question this time. I wouldn't say I dodged it. But I suppose I should explain from the beginning. Four years ago, there was a suicide at Sawakun's school. It was her own student this time. You know this, right? A student at Seiryo High School? Toshiro Ehara. Yeah. When she was in court, Sawakun had no choice but to say there wasn't any bullying. Soon as she told me that, I knew Hiro Mikoshiba would be my next target. Of course, she had no idea about any of that. When Sawakun learned Mikoshiba had been murdered, though, she reached out to me herself. What did she want? She had a sneaking suspicion that I was involved in his death. She called me a few times. Prodding carefully for answers. <laughs> Quite the perceptive lady, really. And? What kind of answers did you give her? I denied any knowledge of it. But at one point, she mentioned something kind of odd. That there was a detective at the school already investigating the incident. Huh? She meant you, of course. A detective already knee-deep into the case despite the police barely even knowing about Mikoshiba. Oh, <laughs> that turned super fast on that one. All right, so Sawa-sensei was the one who told Kawana I show up at her school. He was, he was like, he was like, like that. The police like, are a pain in the ass. <laughs> but when an out-of-town detective comes sniffing around, that's bad. I knew I had to act fast to get you off the trail. Although, Sawakun was a problem too. I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. And then what? First, I found out where the two of you would be meeting up. At that little cafe. Then, I hired the Leo monk to step in. <laughs> but you put up one hell of a fight. They had strength in numbers, but you would have taken out the whole group if I hadn't stepped in. Nonetheless, my other message went through. At the same time, Sawakun was handed a photo of Mikoshiba's final moments. I left that task to someone you know. You and Mamiya. You they hadn't seen each other in 13 years. Sawakun had no idea. The lady in the sunglasses. You and Mamiya was involved in that too? Everything I did that night 
was intended as a warning to Sawakun. Although, I guess I didn't have to be so extreme about it. Yeah. Sawa-sensei was too smart. She must have started suspecting that you'd had something to do with Mikoshiba's murder. After all, who else could have known we'd be meeting at that cafe? She'd have traced it right back to you. Even if Sawakun had started to suspect me, I knew she wouldn't sell me out to the cops. We're too alike. The both of us lost students to suicide on our watch. That said, I couldn't bear the thought of dragging her down into the mess I started. So I scared her off, and I thought she would stay away. <laughs> the day she was killed, she called to ask if we could speak in person. I could tell something was wrong. She was on the verge of tears the whole call. <clears throat> then she broke down. I asked her why, of course, but she wouldn't give me a straight answer, no matter how I tried to phrase the question. So then what? Did you just waltz on over there? It doesn't seem like you. Watch it. You don't know me well enough to say that. Maybe. But I assume you had some sort of plan going in. Were you gonna confess to her? Here's the thing. If she'd figured out that I was behind Mikoshiba, and it didn't sit well with her, I would have told her every last detail. Sawakun knew. I think she would have understood me. Or at least that's what I had believed. In hindsight, I think she was forced to make that call. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure she'd have rather washed her hands of me. Hard as it is to hear, I think she called me under duress. RK probably had her hostage. That would explain the vague responses. That's probably why her voice was trembling. It's tragic. You mean it was RK? Why do they want you so badly anyway? I don't know. What? You don't know. If I knew their angle, I'd be doing more than just scurrying around. You serious? Believe me, I'm just as clueless as you are, much as I hate to admit it. Honest. I'm not thrilled that a small army wants my head on a platter. Have you noticed? How RK seems to show up at the worst possible times? Someone must be pulling their strings. Then we're on the same page. At least we agree on something. <laughs> Who's that? Just a sec. <clears throat> yeah. I'm still over here with Yagami-san. You're not being tailed by any of his guys, are you? Okay. Then I'll meet you right now. That was Mamiya Kun. She said she's free. You guys have been true to your word. Tell Sugiura Kun that I said thank you. Now you want to go? We still have some business to settle here. Now remember, I'm the handyman here. Let me do the dirty work. I don't know what else to tell you. But you need to get out while you still can. Uh oh. If you disappear into the night, I don't want to go busting my ass just to find you again. Before you leave, I'll need some contact info. A phone number would be nice. Oh, no need for that. As far as I'm concerned, this is goodbye. I wouldn't count on that. Oh, you better chase him. Damn right. Oh shit, where you go? Where you go? Oh. I'm coming for you, man. 
Gotcha, I'm in the back. go Kawana they run like Chucky uh oh <sighs> more you goons again you guys again if you really need the masks come on Kurokawa kids You heard that, right? The detective here already knows everything. Kuana. What are you going to do now? What do you think happens when he spills everything? Sounds like your lives are over, unless you shut him up. But Sensei, you'll finish the job for us, right? Huh? Is that you, Akaike? Oh, he's even got a name to your voice. But answer me, Sensei! I know, I know. I'll be the one to finish it. You just knock him out. Okay, then. Time to learn your lesson! See Come you on. try. What kind of lesson is this? Kwan, let's form students. That's how you do it. <laughs> Kawana. Oh no, Kawana. Try. Really? So nice of you to stick around. Mamiya san. <laughs> well, since Kuana couldn't stay, it sounds like you're not out of the woods just yet, huh? She should have stayed home. <laughs> All right, chapter nine is finished. Chapter 10, catch a tiger, let's go! Oh, 
Ooh, it's starting to get juicy. Thirteen years in the past, Mitsuru Kusimoto plunged himself into a coma, sealing his fate alongside Kuwana's. Ridden by guilt, Kuwana sets off on a path of vengeance, and the bullies he drags with him are shackled to the shadows. However, Yokosawa's murder serves as a deadly wake-up call to what he's done. Chapter 10, Catch a Tiger. What about Ride a Tiger? June and I ain't you. Getting your identification on record, so you won't be a threat to us anymore. Uh, what? And I think you owe us after everything you've done. Expect me to come collect one of these days. <sighs> your carriage awaits, Mamiya-san. Don't tell me we're going back to that dingy arcade. <laughs> we sure Dingy are. arcade. I try not to hold a grudge. It wasn't us who abandoned you. <laughs> Higashi, you already called Sari-san in the gang, right? Yeah, I let him know what's up. They said they'll head over when they're ready. Did Shirasaki sensei say anything? <laughs> well, she was pretty stunned when I told her who Kuwana really is and what he's up to. Sounding a little smug there, Higashi-san. Taking credit for the detective work you didn't even do? Back me up here, Yagami-san. Hmm. Whatever, man. Kuwana got away and that's all that matters. Still, the task in front of us is finishing Sari-san's case. We have to clear up Ahara's crime once and for all. With Mamiya-san's help, of course. Finally, I'm ready to get some answers. Well, we still got time till Shirosaki Sensei gets here. Why don't you take a breather, Yagami san? Huh? That'd be okay? Sure. I'll call you once everyone's here. Yeah, a break sounds good. By the way, Higashi, is anything unusual going down in Kamracho lately? Anything involving RK? Yeah. About that. My guys are saying things have been a little too quiet since yesterday. Soma and Akutsu are out in Ijincho, too. When they come back, they're in for a rude awakening. And they can pay for what they did to Kaito Aniki. That's right. Make them pay? Aren't your Yakuza days behind you now? That's not the Yakuza in me talking. That's just a problem I'm gonna be the solution for. Uh, isn't that exactly what a Yakuza would say? <laughs> Fine. Think of it as getting revenge for a brother. Uh... I'm doing the right thing, damn it! Yeah, maybe it's just how you're putting it. Besides, what's the matter if I was Yakuza? <clears throat> I've got my own code, and I'm gonna do right by me. Whatever you say. Much as things change, they stay the same. Hmm. <laughs> Since I'm out, might as well check out how the city's doing. I'll go kill some time somewhere. All right. I go into the arcade, baby. Let's go. Shit. Well, I keep reading this is stairs. What am I doing? That's like a maze, isn't it? You know what? Let's go to the arcade. Play some motor raid. That's a batting center. There we go. 
Ooh, I landed on her head. Whoa. What? I just left like two minutes ago. Hey. Shirosaki sensei and the others just got to Charles. They're getting ready to grill Mamiya son. Got it. Then I'll head back soon. Thanks. Thank it. I was just about to have fun. Oh shit, oh god, no, 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 no. Shit. Oh, it's Genda. Really? You too, Genda Sensei? What? Am I in the way? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Yeah, they better roll, sir. I didn't know you still did field work. They better ruin this whole woman's career. I figured if they could pull a fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Mamiya-san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa-sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. Looks like she got mixed up in all this when R.K. was chasing after Kawana. But we're still not sure why they chased him. To figure that out, we'll have to retrace Kawana's steps. Exactly. That said, let's start with the harassment charges, Mamiya-san. <sighs> Time to talk, lady. Speak the truth and nothing Fine. but the truth. Let's get this over with. Pout all you want, but keep the answers straight. Got it? The Hara's assault was designed to establish a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. So Kawana had you play the victim, and together you pulled one over on the police and the court. Can you confirm if this is all accurate so far, please? Yeah, yeah. The person who groped you on the train wasn't a Harasan himself. It was his stand-in. And my understanding is that he had conspirators to help him fabricate this event? That's right. What was Kawana doing at the time? Was he in Ijinsho or Tokyo? Didn't you hear your lady friend? A Harasan had a stand-in. And that stand-in was our sensei. You mean Kawana posed as a Hara himself? So this Ahara was actually Kawana. Huh. <laughs> Sensei and Ahara-san have a pretty similar build. Not sure they could have pulled it off otherwise, you know? But some spots don't look right, like his mouth. You sure that's really Kawana-san? That part around his mouth is fake. He said he scanned Ahara-san's face and made it on a 3D printer. Oh, huh. You can print things in 3D now? Uh, well, duh. it's a machine that takes a model's data uh. from a computer and prints physical objects using materials like resin. So if you were to scan a person's face onto a computer, a 3D printer could accurately recreate it. Hmm. I don't know the details, but that's what Sensei used to become a Harasan. Something like this? See, with a 3D printer, a piece of a face is pretty easy to make. Oh, shit. What the hell? I see. His eyes are hidden behind the sunglasses, and the seams on his jaw are obscured by the mask. That's incredible, I must say. With the mouth area so visible, it's too convincing to think he's anybody else. And with the prosecution assuming he's just another sexual predator, they fell for it. This is no time to be impressed, in case you forgot. He had the defense fooled, too. Uh -huh. uh, right. Assuming Kawana was Ahara's double, there's still some evidence I'm iffy about. I'm of the same opinion. Okay. Which evidence is questionable? Time to pull back from the curtains on this case. Any evidence I'm sure of, I need to press Mamiya on the right. On it right now. Let's see. Hmm. 
We'll try this one. Any thoughts after seeing this? Stop it. You're gonna look away? You aided and abetted by playing the victim, didn't you? I mean, yes. Who put this video up on the internet? Sensei did. He said from the start that once Ehara-san got his guilty verdict, he'd upload it to the internet. So that was all part of the plan. Yeah. Sensei can't forgive the law for how easy it lets off bullies. Ehara-san's the same way. His son's death was brushed aside. The court blamed his suicide on unknown factors. And that's what led them to his whole plan. The real victim is some bully who never got what he deserved, and the killer gets off in court by being convicted of battery. How would the public respond after finding out they'd gamed the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan was to make a mockery out of the justice system. <sighs> Seems to be going well for them. Mm. The courts are beside themselves for dragging the police into this. I guess Ahara really was desperate. He was never concerned about his own punishment. He tarnished his own name to humiliate the law. Yeah, cop or not, Ahara is a broken man. Nobody took responsibility for his son's death, and the courts all but ignored his case. No wonder he went along with Kawana. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Sensei and Ahara's son are the perfect. The only ones who do, are the ones forced to comply. Us. Let's Speaking see. of which, are we done here yet? What else? This came out pretty clearly. Uh-huh. So the guy in the back is Kuwana posing as Ahara, right? Yes. And he actually didn't lay a finger on me. His prints couldn't show up. <laughs> Sounds like you had a hell of a time getting this set up. I didn't. But Sensei sure did. Take it. What can I get her with? How about this, then? And this is? Before the incident, Ahari used this car to go through the ticket gate at Ikebukuro, the time of which was recorded. Right, and it was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. Happy to help, Yagami-san. At the earliest, Mikoshiba's time of death would have been 7.30 a.m. If Ahara killed Mikoshiba in Ijinsho, he would have only had 13 minutes to get to Ikebukuro. And frankly, that's impossible. <laughs> that's what's dumping you? Huh? Sensei borrowed the card from Ehara's son beforehand and passed through the gate. Afterward, he slipped it back to Ehara's son when they switched places. That way, Ehara's son ended up having the time stamped card on him. Makes sense now. So even the entry time through the ticket gate was used as part of the alibi? It all seems so obvious now that I hear it. Nobody'd suspect that a groping was being used as an alibi for murder. Yeah. And on top of all that, no one knew Mikoshiba had been killed during the trial. They really pulled it off. Anything else? Dang it, do I just do everything? Alright, we're gonna use this. How about this then? What's this? A map of the station? We made a diagram of Shinjuku Station. The platform's packed with cameras, but take a closer look and you'll notice a small blind spot. We've all been looking into it. So, let's say Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and faked his alibi at the station. If that was the case, then after Ahara had his stand and do the deed, they would have swapped at this blind spot. 
Yeah. Sound about right. Is I give up what you're looking for? You figured it out. You win. What more do you want? Ah. How should we be looking at this? The guy getting taken down in the footage is the Rayleigh Harrison. Sensei had already switched places with them before the scene happened. No one saw through his disguise. Makes sense. There'd be no way to swap places after getting caught like this. His sunglasses were removed too. Also, the person who tripped him was one of ours. So was the one who took the smartphone video. If nobody tried to stop him, he would have just caught Nui. But the most important part of it was pinning a Harasan as the culprit out in public. Right. If that didn't happen, the entire alibi goes up in smoke. More or less. So basically, this entire battery case was calculated from the start. Nothing but smoke and mirrors. God. This piece of the puzzle still needs an explanation. Is that... The police examined the trace evidence on Ahara's hands after he was caught. And from the analysis, the same fibers from Mamiya-san's undergarments were found on Ahara's hands. That's right. If the stand-in was the groper, Ahara-san wouldn't have touched Mamiya-san at all. But the evidence on Ahara-san's hands suggest otherwise. Rather strange, isn't it? I take it there was a trick to this, too? That simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ahara-san at the underground platform. That's when I had him touch the undergarment. After that, all I had to do was go to the bathroom and put them on. That's where the fibers in the trace were from. What the police found on Ahara-san's hands was exactly what we wanted them to find. And it would serve as hard proof he grabbed me. The cords really ate it up. It was hard not to laugh sometimes, to be honest. Mm. You're really starting to open up. That's the spirit. <laughs> Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line, groping was a fabrication. At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. We'll reveal Ahara and Kiwana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Genda-sensei? Well, the previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do. If Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. And we'll talk to him tomorrow. First, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. We'll do. Let's do it. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest. Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that Mamiya chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuwana kill all those people. Aren't you gonna turn her in or something? I would. There's nothing we can do. <clears throat> nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine, forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? You wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? Hmm. But if it's helping me, I'll be there. 
I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless, so why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. See ya. Ciao. Time for Sawyer son to meet an interview in Hara. Better take a cab to Tokyo Detention Center. Ihara, what is up? So, you're recommending an appeal? I have that right? Did some new evidence come to light? You Imami have told us some things. Like how you faked your alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. You wanted the sexual battery conviction, right? Well... Your goal was to avenge your son and humiliate the law on a grand scale. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahara-san, we have a much better grasp of the situation than you think. And what exactly have you grasped? Like Yagami-san just said, you're innocent. As far as the harassment goes. As your lawyer, I'll file for an appeal. And we'll make sure the world knows it. Thanks, but no. I'm scum of the earth. A pervert. The prosecution and the judge made that very clear in the verdict. On the day of the crime, October 7th, at around 6.30 a.m., you were in Ijincho, not Tokyo. <laughs> Baloney. <laughs> Baloney. I was relaxing at home. Except that you weren't. Oh? You wanted to give the man who pushed your son to suicide the beating of a lifetime. And you'd miss out on that opportunity if you were at home, which is why you were in Ijincho instead. Isn't that right? You and Kiwana's former students staked out Mikoshiba's house until he left. Then you dragged your prey into a car and brought him to an abandoned building in Ijincho, which would later become a murder scene. Every bone on Mikoshiba's fingers was broken. Ooh, Remembering God. how he pushed Toshiro-kun to his death, it's no wonder you'd go that far. You tortured Mikoshiba without a shred of remorse. You inflicted no small amount of pain and terror. There's no way you weren't there, and I'd put my money on that. And then... You need the whole play-by-play? -play? 
Even though you already know it? Oh, not at all. I'm just fascinated by this outrageous little story. As for what you did next after beating Mikoshiba. <laughs> it's quite a home video. Without leaving anything on Mikoshiba's body that could be traced back to you, you slid his throat. Estimated time of death was around 7.30 a.m. on October 7th. You tossed the bloody coat and made your way to Ikubukuro Station, where Yui Mamiya was waiting. Are you sure? I was at Ikebukuro by 7.30 a.m. It would have been impossible for me to kill Mikoshiba and Ijinsho. The person in the security camera footage in Ikebukuro was a double who imitated your likeness. The identity of whom belonged to Jin Kuwana, the handyman in Ijinsho. Or maybe you know him by a different name. Former high school teacher Yu Kitakata. So which name did he give you? I don't know who you're talking about. With Kawana in view of the security camera, you met up with Yui Mamiya at Ikebukuro first. That's where you touched the undergarments she had prepared. The police would later discover the trace evidence on your hands and pin the groping on you. Then you made your way to Shinjuku Station. After that, Mamiya and Kawana acted out the groping as they arrived at Shinjuku Station. Kawana jumped out of the train and Mamiya chased after him. And then, in the smallest of blind spots in a station absolutely packed with cameras, you were waiting for Kawana, who looked just like you. With the two of you matching, you were able to swap places in that huge crowd without anyone noticing. Kawana handed you the transit card used to pass the ticket gate. Just one piece of hard evidence that places you and Ikebukuro at 7.43 a.m. And right after the swap, yeah, Mami had started calling for help. After that, well, we've all seen how the news reported it. You were caught in a public place with plenty of witnesses. An active duty police officer arrested for sexual battery. The public outcry was very clear. As a result, despite it being your first offense, you were actually tried and convicted. The consensus is that it was a fitting punishment for someone so heinous. Even as your lawyer, I felt the same. Have some confidence in yourself, Shirosaki sensei The prosecution, the judge, and a lawyer like you all laid out the evidence in court and found me guilty. I'm in no position to doubt you. And I've long accepted the ruling that Toshiro was never bullied. There's nothing I can do but abide by the rule of law. Right? That's all I can do! Right? I know what you're trying to say. You carried out the justice that the courts wouldn't, right? Everything my son went through was passed off like it never even happened. School, the teachers, and yes, the court. They all dismissed the reason he died. That's when Kawana came in the picture, telling you Toshiro-kun had been bullied. But was it Kawana's words that suddenly made you want to kill Mikoshiba? Because all of his fingers were broken while he was still alive. Was that really all just your pent-up rage? What do you have to say, Kaharasan? Alright, there shouldn't have been any evidence of Mikoshiba's bullying. Who told Era the truth? Ah, oh, Shaffer, who bully who? <laughs> Did Kawana really tell you? 
You found enough motive to murder Mikoshiba on hearsay? <sighs> no. That doesn't sound right at all. Did Toshiro Kun ever tell you about the bullying himself? My son never confided in me about any of that. Then how did you know there was bullying going on? Why else would you murder Mikoshiba in cold blood? <clears throat> it was Sawa-sensei <coughs> the one who told you the truth? She was the only person Toshiro-kun confided in. You had to have heard it from her, right? Nearly hit the nail on the head, as they say. Nearly? After my trial, she confessed she knew about the bullying. Only to her old teacher over the phone. She had no idea she was being recorded. Mm. What? Kuanasan let me listen to that recording where I learned Sawa Sensei had been muzzled by both the homeroom teacher and the lawyer. That was the proof of Toshiro's bullying I'd wanted all throughout the trial. After hearing Sawa Sensei's words, I finally understood. They pushed my boy over the edge. Was there no other evidence of the bullying? Like a diary of Toshiro-kun's, or something of the sort? Nothing. Toshiro never talked to me or my wife about the bullying. And that was... probably all my fault. He was bullied in middle school, too. Kids would throw his pencil case around, or hide his books. When I heard about it, I... Shoot him out. Mm. They walk all over you because you're weak. Grow spine. I told him. I take it that was the wrong approach. Definitely the wrong yeah. approach. <sighs> Good mercy. I can't imagine how much courage it took for him to come forward about his suffering. I'm sure he felt ashamed about it. And I should have listened when he pleaded for help. I should have told him I was proud of his bravery. But instead, I pushed him away. And in the end, Toshiro tried to make sure he never showed weakness to us again. No matter how much pain he was in. He went to a private school out in Yokohama. Because he hated living with me. But in the end, he still suffered. And that's why you didn't hesitate to unleash hell on Mikoshiba. If you say so. He still won't admit to murdering Mikoshiba. Must be killing him not to. So the first time Kawana showed up was when he let you listen to the phone call with Sawa Sensei, right? Yes. He approached me and asked me if I still wanted justice for my son. I was in uniform when he came to me too. Very bold. But it paid off. I owe him a debt of gratitude. He reassured me he had already taken care of multiple individuals like Goshiba. And that he'd urged other families to avenge the children they lost to bully. He'd tell them that simply being branded a bully wasn't enough. He promised to deliver real justice. If justice can be served at one's own discretion, laws would cease to serve their function. If the law isn't fair to everyone, no one will obey it. The law is only able to help the powerless because it can't be swayed by money, force, or anything else. Then tell me, what's the solution when the law fails to punish someone who laughs in its face? To overlook those the law won't judge is to abandon those the law couldn't protect. To render justice with confidence, you require sufficient evidence. Some of the victims' families refused Kuana's offer of revenge, telling him it would be unforgivable. But even after rejecting his offer, not a one reported Kuana-san to the police. Do you understand what that implies? 
Whether you follow through with revenge or not, Kuanasan presents a solution that resonates with people. Being that the law is unfair and imperfect. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not. You're definitely not. But we're fighting to make it as fair as we can. Laws have to change until they are perfect. They don't change fast enough. Toshiro's death was murder by another name. Yet, Hiromi Kushiba walked free. He even got to enroll in a teaching program as a student teacher. Someone like him? It's insane! I'd die of old age before the law was ever written to be fair enough. For Toshiro's sake, I can't turn a blind eye to a world where the Mikoshibas can live without consequence. Tell me, what alternative was there to getting blood on my hands? I didn't have any other choice! Yagami-san, did he just... Yep. This is the first time you've admitted to killing Mikoshima. You really did your research. Unlike those useless cops. Wanasan's plan was impressive. Almost airtight. I didn't expect it to be unraveled so quickly. I just got lucky. There was some dirt on Yui Mamiya that Kawana could have used against her. If we hadn't found it, there's no way we would have gotten her to talk. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm under no obligation to tell you. Ahara-san, you'll be sent to prison as a sex offender as it stands. Of course. Just as I planned. The charges will be confirmed, and I'll be convicted. As for the police and the prosecution, they wouldn't be able to admit they made a mistake. I could scream, I killed Mikoshiba at the top of my lungs. It wouldn't matter. Are you saying you intend to admit to the murder after you're released? Everyone's seen the video of me killing Mikoshiba by now. It's obviously authentic, but the prosecution and the police are saying it's fake. They need it to be fake. Even if I do confess, They'll sweep it under the rug. <sighs> they wouldn't. No, that's not beneath them. But I take it how they react doesn't really matter to you. All you want is to humiliate the law, don't you? The same system that determined Toshiro Kun's incident didn't happen. It seems you're starting to understand, Yagami san. Throw us off loop. Errors achieved most of what you wanted to do, but I can't over I can't overlook what he's done already done. The prosecution Ooh. wanted to charge me for Mikoshiba's murder. Then they'd have to retract the battery verdict. And that would mean admitting to a massive blunder by the court. At the hands of a criminal. It would be chaos. Despite knowing who murdered Mikoshiba, no one would know what to make of the case. Wouldn't that just be wonderful? I hear you. And I even get why you'd feel pretty proud of accomplishing that. Do you? But in this case, the guys pretty much grabbed the tiger by the tail. What tiger's tail? Someone's issuing orders to the thugs in Kamurocho from behind the scenes. He's the tiger in this case. And they've been closing in on your partner, Kawana. And Sawa-sensei got in their path. I'm sure you get the newspaper in here, right? You know, don't you? Sawa-sensei was killed after the thugs broke into her home. All because she got involved with Kawana. Where she was killed. This is the first I'm hearing of the reason why. And by thugs, you mean RK? Yeah, but we don't know why they're going after Kawana. Any ideas? No way I'd know. You think it could be because she got mixed up in your deadly little game? Oh. Excuse me. Oh. That's what getting away with murder really looks like. The more you perpetuate the lie, the greater the rift you create. And then, the yeah, unthinkable happens. Kawana killed others besides Mikoshiba. You said so yourself. That's what brought the angry tiger into play. And if Sawa-sensei ended up paying for that instead, then how can you begin to believe your vengeance is fair? 
because she gave false testimony. She lied in court to say Toshiro was never bullied. She couldn't name Mikoshiba, who was a minor at the time, without evidence. What's more, she was haunted by her testimony, always second-guessing if she did the right thing. But now she's been killed. Somehow that's acceptable to you. I'm gonna clear up what happened to Sawa-sensei, just like you did for Toshiroku. How? By going public with everything you and Kawana did. The first step is to appeal the sexual battery and undo this whole lie. You never groped you, Imamiya. That's one crime you're innocent of, Ehara-san. The court's verdict was incorrect. So please, give us the chance to appeal. We can prove your innocence. What on earth would I get out of that? You get to humiliate the court again. Besides, what are you gonna do for the next half a year in a cell? Fine. Do what you want. But just know this. Yes? I have no intention of admitting to killing Mikoshiba in court. Is your appeal still worth a damn? We won't know until we try. Let's go, Sari-san. We have client approval to proceed with the appeal. And we better act fast. Yes, agreed. Here we go. Yagami-san. Yes? Sawa-sensei's death isn't on me. Even if I have grabbed the tiger by the tail, that doesn't mean I killed her. By that logic, you may as well admit that Mikoshiba didn't kill Toshiroku. You can't have it both ways. Listen to me. Everything about you, about Kawana, about why Sawa-sensei had to die, we're gonna expose all of it. That's the only thing left we can do for her. I'm going to fill Genda Sensei in on what happened. Why don't you head over to the office? Which office? Sure thing. Oh. Is it my office or his office? <laughs> I'm sleepy. So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. It sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikoshiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, you'll need to prove he murdered Mikoshiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Ahara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ahara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikoshiba in court. <laughs> kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? So goodness is he is worried about Sarukun. Oh, I said Sarukun. Sarukun's career. I'm sure that's the case, although. To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Sorry, son. Are you actually mad? Oh, yeah. yes. As a matter of fact, I am. Ooh. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. <laughs> Hara and Ethan have every devised right to this be. plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. Say it, sister. 
So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? Mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm, what about you, Yagami? I wanna hear your thoughts. He's not saying it, but he disagrees with Cyrus on how we should move forward. We should listen to Sarisan. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did. I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sarisan's. Hmm. What do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kuwana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. That's right. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. <laughs> Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. <laughs> I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. That should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. Sorry. Alright, who's calling? Sukumo's calling. Hope everything's okay. Mush mush. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijinsho. Very bizarre. Mm. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijinsho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijinsho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. All right, let's go. Don't hunt me. It's time to uncover the truth. Let's go. Let's head to Ijincho. It's Yokohama 99. Yeah, let's go. That dude was glitching up. Man, you know I'm stupid.
All right, Segura, let's go. Let's head on to... No. Oh. There we go. Taxi. Yo, you got a message system in your grip? Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuanasan. Or rather, Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like, why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kuwana? How much uh, do they know about him? Before they came to Ijinshu, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinshu as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? I should head outside for now. Watch this someone gonna jump me. Someone's gonna jump me. Look around town. Hell yeah! God dang it! Hello? It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kawana approaching other bullying victims besides Ihara-san to offer revenge. Ihara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kawana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kuana's actions, so wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawai, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? Pretty obvious. And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? Could be. <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Hmm. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> Don't sweat it. 
I'll call you if I find anything out. Alright. Tell you about this tomorrow. Let's go! Oh shit, wrong way. Damn you. Oh, he grabbed me. Yagami-san, back already? <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusamoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Okay, take a look at this, Yagamishi. <laughs> Reiko Kusamoto I got became dog. vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Nabu. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusamoto. Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Mm -hmm. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusamoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa-san's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawa-san. Why are the police going after Kawana and not Soma? What the hell? I think it's the hmm. police. If Kawana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? That dude, is, yeah, uh, I think so. They're like freaking. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. Uh oh. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa yeah, PD. Yeah. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. He's answering his phone. In a while, oh. hot shot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kawana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news. 
Kawana was caught on camera near the crime scene. Plus, he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? <laughs> but I saw Soma holding an ice pick up to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. Oh, hell no. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Ooh, Where are you right toasty. now? Uh -huh. I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Ooh. Huh, <laughs> On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagami, hey, you're smart. I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Nabe-san should be on the main street of Chinatown. I need to catch him and find out what's going on. On his head too. Chinatown. Why don't you take me to Chinatown? Whoa. Play right my skateboard. Nope, never mind. Where's the taxi at? Right near the enemies are. No, fuck it. Ah, uh, move this out of my way. Ah! Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> Thank you, my friend. How's camp? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, once I'm done with this chapter, I'm gonna probably call it a night and then resume tomorrow morning. I think I only have like a few chapters. I feel like I'm getting close. I'm getting close to uncovering the truth. My high water jeans. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, my god. No! God damn! Oh my god, no! Good for this fight, good for this fight. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! <laughs> just for that fight, just, just oh shit! Oh, oh! <laughs> you got me <that> game over. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Holy shit! Ah, oh, god damn it! Fuck. <laughs> it was very loud. That was a good one, though. I'll give you that one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the taxi again. I want that rematch, though. I think it was north. Oh my god! You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Alright. Let's go ahead and find non based on. Actually, I know where he's at. Oh. What's in here? What y'all playing? Oh, I don't want to play that shit. I need to get to the center of Chinatown, so I need to go in this alleyway right here. Whee! Oh, shit. Oh, there he is. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... Sakurai? Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal? The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. Oh. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You wanna say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Then let's. Uh oh. What he's planning. Damn. What's he up to? You're looking rather sus, my friend. Oh man, this this is it. I know I gotta fight him. Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. This man is checking this uh, man. Oh my god. Well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. What if we'll do it with a pleasant view? Do the cops really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. We have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? Something thing about he the Daily Six. On the nearby cameras too. All like right. when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when they were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hard up. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head, too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? Mm. It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Raise the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa Sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kawana has to die in an accident. In an accident? What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kawana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kawana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. 
You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team is rotten right to the core, all you can do is look the other way. Come on, man. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit. <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash. Ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice. And then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? Oh? No, you don't. You're not Curtis Stryker. You never did answer the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, Detective? Smartass! Yeah. Alright, here comes the fight of the century. Leave it alone, Yagami! Battle of the Detectives. It's for your own good! Is that your call? Well... I think I'll be the judge of that. You little piece of shit! I've had enough! Bring it on, son. This is it. Dead son of a bitch! One on one. Let's do this shit. Oh, he's pissed. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. My health. You see my health. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Get my veto lunch. I think it's time to stack up my skills. No, no, no. I need more, more crane skills. Yes. And then we'll go ahead and get my stats. Give daddy some health. Alright. Then we'll go ahead and whoop some ass. Oh shit, what the fuck? This man is literally whooping ass. Take my rebox. Ow. Hell no. Now give me with that bullshit. Oh, the Fucking punch. Oh, it's pissed. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm dead. Geek. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> he took. Oh my god. He hit me with three hits. You see that? <laughs> All right. Dead son of a bitch. Hey man, fuck you, bitch. Let's go. Ah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. This man is hard. Three box kick. What the fuck? What? Alright, I got it. Did I upgrade my shit? Nope, it didn't. Fuck me. I gotta do it again, man. Now I'm gonna do is this Let me get an EX boost. Is there more I can learn? Oh my god. I think it's time you cooled off. Nope. 
Access denied. Oh god, no, 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 no. Mm, fucking punch. Shit. Fuck you too, man. Just don't jump me, my friend. Let's get drunk on your ass. Nope. Why I drink, drink, the stronger, the stronger I, I get. get. Oh. oh shit, what the hell are you doing? Let's go, boy. I'm dead again. Oh, fuck me. This man is fucking me up. I can't imagine how like, the other bosses are going to be like. He fucked my whole shit up. Oh, shit. Fuck me. Get up, get up. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Get up, knocking me. Oh my god, you see my health is gone? Holy shit. Alright, it's time to get drunk on his ass. More oh my god. Stronger I was, oh my god. Why are you so close to my face? Yeah, fuck that too. Man, it's serious. Bitch slap. Get that ass banned. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Damn, you're a tough cookie, man. Nah, babe, man. Holy shit. What kind of story is you on? <laughs> they broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. I'm at the grind. Pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her. Her eyes were still open. And I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. Uh, are too hard. You. You're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. They didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? You were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure, but the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? The public security branch of the police. It's practically Japan's spy ring. It keeps an eye on foreign agents, gangs, and political groups. They don't hunt for criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. Mm. And even if you catch these guys, <clears throat> no one will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? 
If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. But they had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your ship and keep a lid on it. I can't imagine it's easy for the pu public security to pin the blame on Kuwana for Sawa Sensei's murder. Then again, dead men don't talk. If they get rid of Kawana, that'll be enough to muddy their waters. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. <laughs> Afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Now who's calling you, my friend? Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? The Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Juan has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Jincho. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawan is there? Oh, you're not gonna say you got that from me, right? Are you gonna see Kitty? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. And they mean business. All right. This man whooped me black and blue. How much my health is? Oh my god. Get some of this. Oh no, no. Get my bean toe. Yes. 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 Okay. So, I know I gotta go. Here. But I kinda wanna skateboard for a little bit. Oh shit, here we go, here we go. Well, let's try that again. Damn it, people, move! Move, people, move! I'm trying to rip it. Oh shit. Fuck me up. <laughs> Alright, one more time. Then we'll move on. No. Yes. Tony Hawk, baby! Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm having too much fun. Okay. Come on, got the trees, got the trees, got the trees.
Who's calling me? Yagamishi, it's me. I have an update for you. Oh, it seems Kawana has been spotted in Ichincho. Yeah, in Komicho, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komicho. Already? Really? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komichu. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. All right. Brings a good memories. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komichu. Indeed, you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. This is a creep. Then you'll notice the cops block the road. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration route. Infiltration. All right, let's go. Way to go. Oh so, no. What should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. And they give me no directions. They gave me no sense of direction. Alright, let's go. Way to go. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I know what to do now. A sense of direction. All I need. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. Kobe. Should I go from here? Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. Whoa. 
Oh, no, he caught me. Fuck! Damn it! I should have hit. Should have hit. I should have hit. I should have hit. Son of a bitch. Damn. No. We're not doing easy. Okay. Think I got a checkpoint. So I know oh. what to do now. Alright. No, no. Come on. Come on, take the bait, fool. Turn around. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Made it without getting busted. <laughs> I got busted a couple of times. Tsukumo. Keep navigating for me, and let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Huh? It's weird. Hello? Boss fight? Wait, oh. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh. yourself come on get your ass out here relax with the yelling will you you're giving away our location how am i supposed to relax this shit's intense <laughs> oh my god i swear shh shh, shh. sukiura didn't tsukumo kun tell you i was on my way yeah suppose he did yagami san all these guys are okay does that mean RK beat the police to Kiwana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? No, that was no mistake. Some cops are working with RK. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kiwana. So they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kiwana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kiwana-san come to Komichu? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komichu here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kiwana is. Eh, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see anywhere else we can go, so let's go up those stairs. Oh my 
god. It's nostalgia now. I'm gonna have to go through this as Ichiban. Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami-san, we've got our cake coming in from below too. Let's find another route on this floor. I think it was a bridge somewhere. Hmm. What the? Jump to that side. We should be able to get up from here. There we go. Hey, man. You got it real fast. Damn. Wish I was that nimble. For real. up a bit. Yagami-san? Took me a couple of tries. Yo! You guys are Komi Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Komi Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Lead the way, would you? Yagami-san. They seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So, take them down? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, he did. Bitch. 
What are you? You bastard. Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. Either way. I'm gonna call it a night here, guys. Continue this tomorrow. Probably in the morning time. Maybe, maybe 11 ish, I guess. We'll, we'll start this. We're we'll gonna zoom this tomorrow. Alright, then, guys. You guys take care. Thank you guys for watching the stream, and I'll see 